Hey there, I hope you're doing fine in these tough times. It has been quite a tough year so far for everyone throughout the globe in one way or another. And while we've been locked down in our places, what's a better way to spend your time than watching some historical shows, especially the wars that locked down the world almost a century ago? In today's video, I'll be recommending you 10 TV shows revolving around either world wars, their post circumstances and anything like that. Starting off the list, we have Hunters. Now, this one's an Amazon original series starring Al Pacino as the protagonist, a Jewish philanthropist seeking revenge against a secret group of high rank Nazi officials who are planning to take forward Hitler's plan of Fourth Reich. The story is set in 1977 and is believed to be based on true circumstances that happened after World War II. Premiering on the 21st of February 2020 on Prime Video, Hunters was believed to have broken records as Al Pacino was holding the center of attention, but the series couldn't perform according to its hype. The series claimed praise for its performance but were criticized mainly for poor tune and pacing. Overall, with an IMDb rating of 7.2, Hunters holds the number 10 spot on our list. My name is Juliana Crane. They need asylum. At number 9 we have The Man in the High Castle. This one's a familiar name for our old viewers as it's been added to our top 10 list of Amazon Originals previously. For our new viewers, Amazon Originals The Man in the High Castle is the story of an alternate world where Axis powers actually won the war, especially showing the rule of Germans and the Japanese in the United States. Starring Alexa Davalos, Rufus Saul and others, this show revolves around stories of various individuals trying to win their individual battles. Some are trying to free their countries, some are trying to survive against internal conspiracies and others are trying to stop a war between allied nations. Over the course, the series has been exceptionally acclaimed throughout the TV universe, with the pilot episode being the most watched episode ever since Amazon Originals beginning and has an average rating of 8 on IMDb. Coming in next is a British television miniseries called Piece of Cake. This one's based on the novel of Derek Robinson, which revolves around the story of the early World War, especially depicting the story of the Royal Air Force of Great Britain. The story shows the Hornet Squadron equipped with hurricane aircrafts, but their lack of knowledge about the war circumstances, ineffective commanding skills, lack of training and poor gunnery skills takes the life of the majority of them, leaving a handful of them at the end. Premiering in 1988, this series was produced by Holmes Associates for LWT for ITV. The show was divided into six episodes, released in a single season. Ian Toynton was the director of Piece of Cake. It also showed the bitter truth of the lack of preparation by Great Britain's RAF. With an average rating of 8.1 on IMDb, Piece of Cake is enlisted at number 8 on our list. I am Germany. Up next we have an American miniseries, The Winds of War. The Winds of War is based on a book of the same name written by Herman Wolk. The story revolves around the lives of the Henry and the Jastrow families during the early stages of World War II. Victor Henry was a naval officer and a close friend to then US President Franklin Roosevelt. The story consists of the personal as well as professional lives of the two families. The Winds of War was a combination of real documentaries as well as a fictional storyline combined together to present a dramatic and indulging miniseries. The documentary documentary footage was narrated by William Woodson. This seven-part miniseries was directed and produced by Dan Curtis and was broadcast on the ABC network in February 1983. Now at that time, it was the most watched miniseries of all time with a total of 140 million viewers worldwide. The miniseries is a mixture of drama and action and was loved by people at that time. Maybe if you're an old-school content lover, you may find it a worthy watch. With an average rating of 8.1 on IMDb, it's placed at number 7 on our list. At number 6 we have an Indian miniseries, The Forgotten Army. An Amazon original, The Forgotten Army is the story of Indian soldiers who were recruited in the British Army during World War II to fight against the Japanese Army in Myanmar. As Britishers bow down against the Japanese Army due to a lack of information on the battlefront, soldiers of the British Indian Army were held prisoners of war. Japanese officials, along with Indian nationalist Subhash Chandra Bose, offer Indian people to form an Indian National Army to start 
started war against Britishers in their own country. The INA was the first ever military force established for Indian independence. This miniseries also has a combination of family troubles and an indulging love story. The story has been narrated by Bollywood actor Shah Rukh Khan and directed by Kabir Khan. A total of five episodes were released on Prime Video on the 24th of January 2020. The Forgotten Army received an average rating of 8.1 on IMDb. One of the few foreign language names on our list, it's an inspiring story, especially if you belong to the subcontinent. America. <laughs> America is one big bluff. At number five, we have War and Remembrance. War and Remembrance is a continuation to the story narrated in The Winds of War. It's based on the novel written by Herman Woke, who carries on the story of the Henry and Jastrow families. This series focuses on the later events after World War II, especially after the Pearl Harbor incident, where the previous story was finished. The series is only worth watching if you've watched The Winds of War, as all the general characters of the story were introduced earlier. Overall, this was a two-season series, which was directed by Dan Curtis in the 90s, Separately. War and Remembrance had 12 episodes in total and was released by ABC Network in collaboration with Disney. With an average rating of 8.3 on IMDb, War and Remembrance performed slightly better than its predecessor and can be a good option to watch. At number four, we have another American miniseries, The Pacific. The Pacific revolves around the story of Marine Division's battles in the Pacific during World War II, and the story centers on three individuals, Robert Leckie, Eugene Sledge, and John Bassalone, who bravely fought for their nation. The story is inspired by real individuals and their struggles during the war, emotionally, mentally, and physically. An indulging story with a bit of everything presented wonderfully. The miniseries also showed the mental scars carried by these soldiers, who survived and were brought back to their home. The Pacific was released in March 2010 and was produced by HBO and DreamWorks. It's won many awards over the years on different platforms. The Pacific received an average rating of 8.3 on IMDb, and overall it's a modern war series presented by HBO in one of the best ways possible. Coming in next, we have the British miniseries Winston Churchill, The Wilderness Years. It's the story of the former British Prime Minister Winston Churchill during his early days as a politician in the 1920s, where he was out of favour among his fellow countrymen. He tried to convince his colleagues about the threat possessed by Germany and how the Nazis can cause damage to Britain. This show was an eight-episode miniseries which was produced by Southern Television and was broadcast in the United Kingdom by ITV in 1981. Winston Churchill had a very diverse life story, but this series was mainly focused in the decades of the 1920s and the 30s. With an average rating of 8.5 on IMDb, this show is great for old school viewers. At number two, we have the German miniseries Generation War, only our second foreign series featuring on this list. The main storyline revolves around the life of five young friends coming from different backgrounds. The miniseries has three episodes of 90 minutes each and concentrates basically at the war circumstances faced by these friends at a different level. A couple of them were at war, another was a nurse, a singer and a Jewish tailor. They vowed to meet each other back after the war, but sadly, only three of them can make their way back. Generation War was first broadcast in Germany in March 2013 by ZDF. The miniseries also became an instant success after 7 million viewers watched it in Germany. The series was a bit controversial, causing various debates throughout the world. It also won various domestic and international awards, especially the best miniseries at the 42nd International Emmy Awards. The friendship bond between people from different origins and their sufferings during the war was perfectly knitted in this miniseries. With an average rating of 8.5 on IMDb, Generation War is another option if you're looking for a foreign language series. And finally, at number one we have Band of Brothers. HBO's Band of Brothers is based on an American historian Stephen Ambrose's book of the same name. It's really the story of an easy company of an airborne division of US military. The story features Major Winters as the main character whose job it is to keep the company together and achieve the missions allotted by the company. Moreover, there are different characters that can be seen throughout the whole series. All of the circumstances of the war, beginning from the training to the battlefield, have been superbly balanced and executed. Hollywood veterans Tom Hanks along 
along with Steven Spielberg are the creators of this miniseries, and DreamWorks were producers and Warner Brothers were distributors for the show. Similar duo alongside Playtone later worked on The Pacific. The miniseries was premiered on HBO on the 9th of September 2001, and it's been touted as the best TV show made on the World War with an overall rating of 9.5 on IMDb. So with that, we reached the end of the list. What did you think of this list then? Drop us a comment and let us know. Write to us and let us know if you thought we missed something. We'd love to hear from you on that. Thanks so much for watching this video and be sure to leave a like, subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a single one of our countdown videos and let us know which video that you think that we should be doing next. I'll see you next time on The TV Regent.